Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining us again for Aussie Mail's Weaver Week. Um, today we're going to be doing, um, excuse my pronunciation, Valeris Dragonspine. Uh, just let me do a couple of clicky click things and uh, so I can make sure that I am watching everybody. Okay, wait a minute. My computer's a bit slow. Okay. Leave a comment from. Oh, I've got comments already. Look at that. My computer is slow. Hey, Dawn and Jenny. Where's Annette, Joe, and Susie? Hello, guys. How are you all? Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Where's Linda? Hey, Bonnie. Glad you found us, Hannah. All right. Chris, did you see that from Linda? She wants us to tag Hazel if we can. Okay. Marion. Hi, Marion. All right. So I know a lot of you have got the kits that we sent out at the beginning of the week and I saw that even Daryl in New Zealand got his so I'm really super excited about that. I wasn't sure that Daryl would get his. Um, if you were expecting uh, one of our kits and you didn't get it, can you let us know and uh, we'll keep a, an eye out, see what's happened there. Hi Mike from Singapore, excellent. Ray and Dawn and Rowena. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, Sue, I hope everything's all right, love. Okay, so um, Valerius, I think is how you pronounce it, Dragon Spine. It's uh, the way we're doing tonight. It's a European four and one variation. Uh, those that have um, the subscription would have received the tutorial already, so you've had a, a quick squeeze. Oh, Jenny, okay, Western Australia, yeah. Yours probably will take a little bit longer, although New Zealand. I'm surprised someone in New Zealand got it before you did in Western Australia. That's not, not good. Hello, Julie. Okay. 18. Oh. Oh, Sue, sweetheart. Hope everything's all right. Okay. All right, so look, I'll, I'll make a start since we've got quite a few on and I'll just swap the camera over and we can go for there. Okay, so I've done up a couple of sample pieces. The kits that went out and what we'll be weaving in tonight um, is this one here, which is uh, 16 gauge for the European 4 on one section and 14 gauge for the extra rings that are in the middle there. Okay, so this is uh, 16 gauge 4.5 and um, 14 gauge 7. Now the recommended um, AR for this weave is 3.7 and 4.5. Uh, so you could go a little bit smaller than 4.5 uh, rings. You know, you could take down to a 4.2, possibly even a 4. It might be starting to get a bit dense there. But that's uh, that's what the kit will look like that we'll make up tonight. I did an 18 gauge version. This one's using um, 9 sixty-fourths. The AA is 9 sixty-fourths and the uh, silver rings in the middle are 16 gauge 5.25 millimeter. This uh, weaves up really nicely. Um, slightly tighter look, closer to the AR than perhaps the 4.5 is. Um, yeah, that would have to be my favourite. And then I've got a tiny little piece because I ran out of time and I'm not that insane of the 20 gauge. So that uses the 764ths for the AA part, the European 4 and 1, and uh, 18 gauge 4.5 for the, the silver, the BA rings. So there's those three. Okay. Oh, hi, Alison. You've joined us. Michael, Shirley. Oh, you were on a previous video, Shirley. Yeah, I saw some comments pop up. I was wondering what was going on there. Okay. All right. So we'll make a start on this weave. As I said, um, 
the basis of this weave is European 4-in-1 and I noticed some of our subscribers had already whipped up a small piece of European 4-in-1 which I'll do just now. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this weave just in case we've got some new people watching. I will whip up a small piece for you. Okay, so we start off European 4 and 1 with one open ring and two closed rings. Pop a twist tie on so you've got something to hold on to. And then position your rings sort of like um, Mickey Mouse cat. So we've got some ears and a forehead. And pick up one of your opened rings, so these are the 4.5, pop it through the front of one ear, twisting it around, coming up through the back of the other ear and pop two closed rings on and close that up. I'm glad you could join us Alison. Okay. Position the rings again so that we've got our ears sticking up and the forehead looking at us. Putting our open ring through the front of one, twisting it around, coming up through the back of the next one. And before we close that ring, popping two more on. So you just continue like that, making three ring wide European four and one. Okay, so if anybody is uh, watching and is wondering what we're talking about with our subscription uh, kits, we've got um, a monthly subscription club going on for our weaves that we do each Saturday night, Saturday night here. Um, we've just sent out our first lot, which was for the month of May. Unfortunately, that uh, subscription's closed down for now, but if you want to get uh, onto the subscription for the June kits. You can sign up from now until uh, the 21st of this month to get all the kits in June sent to you. We'll be mailing those kits out on the 22nd of May. It gives us nearly two weeks for everybody to get their kits out so hopefully everybody will have them in time for the videos to start next month. So the for anybody that doesn't know there's a link on our website. It's both on the front page under Mail Club or um, in the kit section um, and you can subscribe there. It's $50 a month for those in Australia. That's uh, four or five kits depending on how many weeks there are in the month plus the postage for you. You get that once a month. Uh, overseas it's a little bit more expensive because of the shipping at $65 a month but again you get the same amount of kits, all the rings, the clasps, um, anything you need and the instructions will get sent out to you once a week as a, a PDF. It will be emailed out to you. Okay, so we're nearly there with a European 4-in-1 piece. Just do a couple more. Use up all my prepped rings. Laura, these are the Zuron pliers. I've got a chisel-nosed plier in my left hand and the short-nosed plier in, our right, in my right hand. We sell these. They're on our website. Um, look, they're, they're, they're fabulous pliers, to be honest. I really enjoy using them. I wasn't sure I would. Uh, the handles, um, although they're not hard, they're not soft foam either, and I thought perhaps they would um, be a little hard on your hands but um, everything's, you know, they're, they're beautiful. I, I don't get sore hands from them. They're really good for the finer sizes, so the 20 gauge and the 18, they're great for. I've used them for 16 and 14 gauge, and um, I, don't, I don't have a problem with it. I think they're using it for 14 gauge too much. You might shorten their life. But they're, they're a fabulous plier, and they're not particularly expensive either, so that's great. All right, so you've got your piece of European 4-in-1. Really simple step next. We just take one of our big rings and we're going to orbit that around the center 
ring. So you've got three ring wide European four and one. We're going to take this one here. We're going to center it around. We're going to orbit it around the center ring. Um, I usually go up a couple from the end. Um, depending on how big that ring is, sometimes it can slip off the end if you're not careful. So I like to go up a couple just to make sure it doesn't fall off. And there's no real elegant or technique of doing this that I've come across anyway. You just sort of slip it in there, make sure you go around that center ring, that you don't pick anything up, that it's just around the center ring and nothing else. And then you very carefully close it up. Now it can be a bit slippery to start with. As I said, sometimes that ring wants to slip back, especially if it's too large um, and it moves out of place. So you've got that ring sitting in there now. Just in the middle. And we need to lock that in place. So we pick up another one of our open small rings and we want to put this through small ring that's behind that big ring we just put in, through the big ring itself and through the small ring in front of it. So scooping up just those three rings, small ring on the side behind, the big ring that we just orbited and the small ring in front. And we close that ring up and then we want to do that to the other side. So again we're picking up just these three rings here, the one that was behind the big ring itself and the one that was in front of that big ring. And we just scoop our ring through there and close it up. Now there is another version of this weave called, I think it's something like Lopeka worm tongue, something like that, I can't quite remember. Um, and it's exactly the same as this, except that the orbiting ring goes around every center ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip one center ring and go around the next. So we're going to orbit every other center ring. I'm not sure I can get that close enough. So we're going to skip this one here and we're going to go around this one. So just simply put it around making sure you don't pick anything else up. It's easy to do and just close the ring up. Okay make sure it's in position you haven't picked anything else up with it. Take up one of your open rings and again go through those same three rings, so through the one at the back, the one that we've just put in, the big thick orbiting ring and the one in front of it. So scooping up just those three rings on the side. There we go. Make sure you've got all three close that ring and we need to do the same on the other side. So through one, two, whoops, one, two and three and close that ring. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. So you can see the two large rings, one here and one in here. So we're going to skip the next middle ring and we're going to orbit the one after that. Okay, so pick up a big ring, tuck it in there. Make sure you don't pick up any of the side rings like that one's trying to do right now. Oops, it's being stubborn. All right, there we go. Close that ring up. And 
Okay, so you've got it there in the middle. It's not caught up into anything else. So we want to lock it into place, pick up one of our little rings, and we want to put it through the little ring, the orbiting ring, and then the other little ring there. So the one behind, the orbiting ring, and the one in front. Let's see if I can get this angle. Okay, so one, two, three. <laughs> Hi Catherine, how are you sweetheart? How's the kids? Okay, we close that up. We flip it over to the other side. Another open ring. Feed it through those same three rings. So one, two, three. Just like that. And we close that up. I'm glad they're better. Okay, is everybody following that okay? I'm not going too fast. Make sense to everybody? Okay, so we've put the orbiting ring in here. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to go around the next ring. The sizes we're currently using, Pauline, are uh, for the European 4 in 1 part, 1.2 or 16 gauge times 4.5 millimeter ID. And the large orbiting ring is 14 gauge with a 7 mil ID. That's what we're currently weaving in. Gets a bit tricky towards the end putting that orbiting ring in place. So there we've got the orbiting ring now. Okay, and we want to lock that ring into place. So we take up a little one and we want to put it through the side ring behind the orbiting ring, the orbiting ring itself and the ring in front of it. So through one, two, three rings. And we lock that up. And on the other side, because it's all about symmetry. Well, it is in my life anyway. We go through the three, so we go through one, two, three. Okay, now you will need to make this um, bracelet just a, a little bit longer than um, you need it to be tightens it up just a small amount but not a great deal so you know maybe a, a centimetre or, or two to um, a little bit longer than what you need but it's just a simple case as you can see I've come to the end of my sample piece but I can quite easily just uh, add some extra rings to that as we go down Okay, so when I finished it, Michael, I just finished it as I would with the European 4 and one add that extra single ring to the top to uh, lock the European in, into place. And then because I'm using just a lobster clasp and I need um, the ring to go this way, I just popped an extra ring on, put the lobster clasp on. And then did exactly the same down the other end. Just put a single ring in place and the lobster clasp attaches to that. So I just and that was it. Daryl, I'm glad yours looks like mine. <laughs> Hi Donna. Sorry sweetheart, we're just about done. Alright, so I haven't given you your little question for those that need a free tutorial that um, haven't received as part of the kit. Um, let me see, what could we do tonight because I'm terribly unprepared yet again. Alright, just I think 
tonight. Tell me what your favourite combination of pliers is to use. So do you like two pairs of chain nose? Do you like a bent nose and a chain nose? Do you like flat nose? Uh, write that down in the comment if you want a copy of the tutorial sent to you free of charge. This is only while the tutorial, uh, while the video is live. So anybody that's watching this after the, we finish this demonstration, um, I'm sorry you won't be able to get a copy of the tutorial. But if you pop your answer in the comments now for me while we're still live, um, I'll send that out to you guys. It needs to be done via Facebook. Um, so I need to be able to send messages to you. If I can't send a message to you, I won't be able to send it out. So just keep that in mind. If your settings um, aren't set up so that you receive messages, I won't be able to send it to you. And it's too time consuming to try and chase down um, email addresses and things. So I need you to change that for me. If um, Or send me a message and I can respond back to that and send it to you. Fabulous. So has everybody gotten the idea of the weave? Do you need me to go on? Any further? Sorry, I'm just looking at what I'm doing. Is everybody good? So as I said, if you've come along late and you're interested in the subscription kits, um, the sign up for June's kits, if you haven't already signed up, is um, until the 21st of this month. So if you sign up between now and the 21st, you'll um, receive the June kits. They'll be sent out on the 22nd of May and hopefully everybody will get them in time for um, the June videos. You can find the sign up for the subscription on our website, on the front of our website. Um, there's a link there or within the kits itself. It is a monthly subscription, so it will come out each month um, until you cancel it. And it's all done through PayPal. So if you don't have a PayPal account, you will have to create one, but it's um, not something you have to use. It's just for this. You can still pay via credit card if that's what you prefer to do, but it just has to be done through PayPal. Um, that's the way we're, we're using to, to run our subscriptions. So I'm sorry for anybody that's not happy about that, but that's just the way we have to do it right now. Okay, apply as a Mother's Day type gift. Mm, of course they are, absolutely. Have a look. Sorry, Shirley, I'm not 100% sure if your comments come up because they some of them scroll past me. Oh, yep, I can see something there for you. They tend to scroll past me quite quickly, especially if I'm weaving. <laughs> well, you know, and it, just in case, you know. There's some weirdos out there that want to cancel. <laughs> oh, very nice, Ivana. Which I wish I had dinner out. That sounds lovely. Tumblers, yes, tumblers are very good Mother's Day presents as well. Absolutely. All right. So if everybody's pleased with that, we might call it um, call it done for tonight then. Apparently a few people aren't seeing their own um, messages, Sue, so I think they're all coming through. Just um, I don't know why people aren't seeing their own messages. All right, guys, so thank you very much. As I said, that was a nice, easy weave. Um, we'll have another exciting weave for you next week. Why have you been naughty? Oh, 
Well, you're always naughty, Susie, but yeah, okay. You're very welcome, Wes. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it. I hope everybody who got the kits is happy with them. Um, it's the first time we've sent anything like that out, so um, I hope everybody was happy with what they got. Keep an eye out for our event notification on Wednesday and you will find out uh, what we were doing next week. And uh, those guys that do have a subscription, we will send out the um, instructions to you on Wednesday as well. So you get to uh, have a peek at them before we, we start weaving up. All right, fantastic. All right, everyone. Well, I'll call it, um, call it done tonight then if no one's got any more questions or anything like that. Fantastic. Did everyone get the same? No, not everyone got the same coloured rings in it. We didn't think that Wes and Daryl would like hot pink or violet, so we tried to give them boy colours. But no, um, I just made up a few kits of each colour and then except for the fact that we tried not to give pinks and purples to the guys, uh, the colours were just randomly as put in a parcel. Um, we can't guarantee any colours, I'm sorry. Um, we just make up what we've got and as I said we just randomly pick them up and pop them into a, a parcel. Are you happy with pink squares so we don't need to worry about it? <laughs> we just didn't want you to think that, um, well that's what we thought you, you might have a lady or somebody that you would be weaving for if you got the pinks but we thought we might try and send you guys the blues and the blacks and things. Red and black, yep, yeah. Ah, oh, look, it, we just, as I said, we just grab several colours and we make up the kits and then we just throw them into into the envelopes. I can't see your hair in the little picture there, Daryl. I'll have to have a look at it later. All right, well then, I won't be worried about what colour we send you guys. Then we'll just. Uh, pick them up and throw them in but yeah we try to do a range of colors um, but as I said we can't we can't make it um, specific it's just it's too fiddly too hard to to keep on top of and it also just depends on what we happen to have in stock at the time some colors are proving to be difficult to get in at the moment from our suppliers all right, guys, well, thank you very much for popping along again. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to come and spend some time with us. Uh, I love catching up with you all. And don't forget to put your pieces up either, um, you know, in the mailers group if you're, if you're in the Aussie mailers or up on our Facebook page. But if you're on the Aussie mailers, then we can see it better than our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you guys are doing with the kits. Um, especially when you throw a little, you know, a little bit of extra or use a different size or something like that. Um, put a bit of colour in them. It's all good. All right, guys, so thank you very, very much. And uh, we'll catch up with you next week at the same time. All right, take care. Bye.